Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk more about Hogwarts Legacy because things have escalated. Uh, there's a literal witch hunt going on for content creators streaming Hogwarts Legacy. Mm -hmm. um, we talked about yesterday, there's a website that's being set up called Have They Streamed That Wizard Game? So they're literally Voldemorting the name of Hogwarts Legacy. And this website is being used to track people that are streaming or posting content about the game and to harass them in their chats. So it's basically targeted harassment. It is targeted harassment. Now, is it gonna stop the game from being popular? Hell no, it's already breaking all kinds of sales records. It's actually getting a lot of good reviews from a lot of media outlets that have to disclaim that they don't agree with JK Rowling, but they gave it a good review. Is it anyway. gonna stop bigotry? No, it's gonna enhance bigotry because people are gonna associate these weird people with, you know, unfortunately with trans people. Yeah, that's the truth. I mean, this is, this is the thing. Like every time this happens, we've actually had people come in, in our comments and be like, hey, I've never been against trans people, but because of the way these activists are behaving, I'm starting to think that maybe, you know, right. a lot of these people it's are perpetuating aren't right. yeah. the crap. And then beyond that, there are a lot of trans people who are very excited about the game and want to play it. And they're like, they're afraid to tell people. Well, I can see why. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this, people getting dogpiled. Then we're gonna talk about the BBC having to apologize. And we have a kind of have a personal stake in this one. One of our writers, Jake James Lugo, uh, who went on to the BBC with the head of The Gamer, I think it was Stacey Henley, in charge of The Gamer, and they had a bit of a debate about whether or not you should buy Hogwarts Legacy. Apparently, Stacey Henley said some things that really didn't sit well with J.K. Rowling that were potentially defamatory. Uh, she was pretty spicy, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, they had to issue an apology. The BBC had to actually apologize for defaming J.K. Rowling or letting Stacey Henley of The Gamer the fame J.K. Rowling. So this, this situation is batshit crazy. Again, we predicted it would be a Gamergate 2.0, and it really is shaping up to be a situation like that. Mm -hmm. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, over 292,000 subs. Heading toward 300. Please make sure you're still subscribed. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We're not that bad. We don't bite sometimes. So let's talk about this. So wait, so you're saying that about, yeah, I want to point out about Gamergate 2.0. Yeah, the difference is, is now these activists are the ones going out and targeting gamers, female gamers, whatever, yes. and harassing them yes. and making them cry on stream for playing a game. And some people might not even be aware of the situation or understand what's going on. And these people are going out there. And I want to point out a lot of these activists aren't even trans themselves. They are just, you know, people from Twitter who want to have a cause. And they're going out there and harassing people and making, you know, the trans rights issue look you know you're creating bias you're creating bigotry people are going to start turning against people who are innocent because you're using their identity and their name to go out there and harass others yeah what's going to happen is the extreme voices are going to uh, you know paint a negative picture of the entire movement. right and it's not fair and we've been there with the whole like you know star wars whatever a couple people do a couple really bad things anybody who doesn't agree is a horrible person it's the same kind of thing yeah, so I gotta give a hat tip to uh, Devil's Blight eighty six who actually tagged me in. This is how I found out about it. But yeah, they're going out and harassing female streamers, um, harassing VTubers, including uh, Pick and Me, getting harassed. But there's an article on it here on uh, Clutch Points, which is a sports esports site, talking about it. They said the seventy two hour early access to Hogwarts Legacy has led to a literal witch hunt, with various people hunting down content creators who are streaming or even thinking of playing the game. And again, they're using that website. Uh, this incident comes right on the heels of Twitter's reactions to Hogwarts Legacy's gameplay. In that article, uh, we mentioned that I'd only be looking at the comments and criticism that directly talked about the game's gameplay. This is because the vast majority of comments were attacking the game or JK Rowling, right? But Deserto actually put Twi uh, Twitch chat bullies streamer for playing Hogwarts Legacy to the point of making his girlfriend cry. So let's play a, a clip of this. It's only like 30 seconds flip up and now it's like whatever i'm almost like thinking of just like either going offline or like we're i'm barely into the second combat here and every time i look at chat it's just the conversation is just like maybe we can do like bothering a, a me right back like a, like, a, like a little break or something you can take a break if you want i'll just stop talking and i'll just go fight and do the combat you 
Y'all done did it now. Wow. Yeah, this is uh, this is completely unacceptable. So the tolerant extremists that demand respect and rights for people um, are out there disrespecting people and trying to, you know, basically go out and harass people, target harass people uh, and everything else but over a game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's, you know, honestly, some people aren't even probably aware of the situation about. And they're just going to go out and harass anybody who remotely even comes near the game. Um which I would argue that, you know, when other people did that for other things like Star Wars or whatever, they were, like, shut down immediately for doing things. But this is okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is unacceptable. And we'll, we'll talk about this because um, it does kind of dovetail into that BBC conversation okay. with uh, our writer, Jake James. Um, because some of the stuff that Stacey said to me indicated that, well... You know, we're not. Nobody's harassing anybody over this game. Yeah, bullshit. According to Stacy, and and uh, now, uh, you know, when I mentioned the video yesterday, Stacy was shocked and appalled that IGN actually gave it a review, gave it a fair review. I think there's some coordination going on back channel. I don't know if Stacy's involved or not, but there definitely are a group of journalists and uh, activists back channel. You know, I don't know how many journalists are involved because a lot of the journalists have to put apologies out with their reviews, and they're actually the one person wrote they're afraid to even review it. Well, no, certain sites like like uh, Stacy's site, The Gamer, didn't get review copy. Apparently, Kotaku didn't, Polygon didn't. A couple of the really like extreme the ones that about they're bitching about it. Yeah, time. calling for cancellation. The ones that were calling for Troy Lovett's job. Well, you know, they could have given know. copies of review to people that weren't. It's really interesting too because. Uh, in all of this, you know, you see gaming journals for what they are. They pick and choose what they want to cover. Limited Run Games, their community manager being fired the way that she was over, you know, what initiated was saying that, you know, she liked Hogwarts Legacy or was looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy, which led to them digging through her tweets and her likes and all that. That should have been major news on every gaming site and very few gaming sites, if any gaming sites, mainstream sites covered it. I, I don't think they did. It was mostly YouTubers. They covered it. So I think there's some some of these journos are being absolutely complicit in Oh, I have no doubt. You know, they're like, oh done yeah. it before. We might not be we might not be participating in it per se, but we're definitely not gonna call this out because we secretly support well, it. Like my mom always says, uh, make the bullets and have somebody else fire them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's not an isolated case. Uh, girlfriend reviews. Uh, apparently Pick Me got harassed before even streaming so much that she had to cancel her stream. Um so here are some of the screenshots there. Uh, picking me, VTuber. I'm just a kettle who wants to play the games. Uh, playing this game doesn't mean I'm supporting something specific. I just want to play the game. That's all. I hope everyone will have a wonderful day. Um, this one hurts. I'm joining. Yeah, see, look. This one hurts. I'm joining Hogwarts. When, look at that. I have to block picking me because of Hogwarts. Come on. Seriously? I don't I you know, honestly, I don't understand how these people who have any followers or are able to follow anyone because at, at some point everyone's going to piss you off and you're going to going to be blocked. So just get off Twitter. I make the world a better place. I think it's a handful of people from like Resetera and you know their their back channel discords, and it's probably only like a dozen people, two dozen people, but they have so many sock puppet accounts, and it's always like anime avatars, furry avatars. It's like you're never seeing their actual faces. You know, you never see their actual faces because they're cowards who do cartoon this. avatars. Cartoon avatars. <laughs> no, our actually, are on Twitter. If you go, yeah, if you go to Twitter, our faces are actually on Twitter. Um, um you know. it's just, I just think this is going to have the opposite effect. Like what they're trying to do is already not working, and by going out there and harassing people to the point where they're they're doing that, it's actually going to sell more copies of the game, and it's going to generate negative feelings towards people that are trans. Um, unfairly yeah. because of the behavior of some of these people. And again, I want to stress over and over again that not everybody who's trans is going to, is part of this group. Actually, we'll probably find the majority of them aren't even trans. They're just those people that look for something to scream about. And I know for a fact that I have friends, I know people who've said in the comments, they are trans, they want to play the game, but they're afraid to tell their friends because they know this kind of shit is what's going to befall them. How sad is that? Yeah. I mean, you're just literally creating more division, and that's not what we need. This is stupid. I wouldn't assign my name to it. If I was going to make something like this, it was going to be used to hunt down. Oh, no, they're just cowards. Villain style hunt down people, streamers. I wouldn't assign my name to it. Um, yeah, this is uh, Have They Streamed That Wizard Game, 
and uh, you can check and see if anyone has streamed it, if they're playing a stream. It's only on Twitch, though. It's only on Twitch. I'm sure they'll it's probably... It's harassing Twitch. Because that's where it's going to get streamed the most, is Twitch. Well, okay, so they're angry about Twitch. Uh, they're actually angry because Twitch has been running Hogwarts Legacy ads, and people are furious. They're like, I'm going to boycott Twitch because of... You're running Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, let's Legacy be honest ads. here. All five of them. Let's be All honest. All five of the them. The majority of the people that are doing this, and I say majority, there are like a handful of people. There is not a lot of people that are behind this whole thing. But they go out and know how to magnify their voices, use alt accounts, whatever, to sound like they're a lot bigger. You know, because they always said, like, the Star Wars people, they're like, oh, the, the, the vocal minority. Yeah, the vocal minority here are going out there and causing, you know, a big shit storm over a tempest in a teapot. Yeah, so this is um, interesting because they're saying, look, I'm not defending Hogwarts Legacy. It's not an article protecting and defending the series or its author. What I'm trying to say is because of this game, various content creators now in the crosshairs of various groups of people, while some of them are still amiable, in the case of the VTubers, quite a few of them are more aggressive, as with the cases of Girlfriend Reviews. All I'm saying is up to you as to whether or not you want to support the That's game. That's where I'm at. It's if you want to buy you. it, it's up to you. Yeah, it's up to you if you want to watch uh, content creators who are playing the game. We even had these journalists going on about how they hate, they, every, all these things were turning them off to the game, and, and then they played it, and all that was forgotten. I'm like, because at the end of the day, these people are going to play the game. It's yeah. the game everybody's wanted. They're going to play it because they don't understand the reality situation is, yeah, well, you might not agree with J.K. Rowling. She had very little to do with this game. And, yeah, she's going to fucking get paid. But yeah. she gets paid a lot more for other things you do that you might not even be related directly to the Wizarding World. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to play it or not. If you don't, that's cool. If you do, that's cool. It's the gaming company worked their asses off, and it and she had very little input into it. They even have a trans character in the damn game. Yeah, you can create trans characters, I guess. And this, like, this like, is stupid. Uh, so yeah, let's let's talk about this here real quick before we wrap up. The BBC, uh, they did a, they had a podcast episode. They had Stacey Henley from the Gamer, who's in charge of the Gamer, I believe, and uh, one of our writers contributors, uh, Jake James Lugo, and they were debating as to whether or not you should buy or support Hogwarts Legacy. This is interesting. This is the Scottish Daily Express saying one of the pundits went on a rant about how the Harry Potter author was transphobic and had built up a campaign against trans people. And this is, again, Stacey Henley, who said that nobody was being harassed. Nobody Bullshit. was being stalked. Nobody was you know, being forced out of their job. It's just a difference of opinion and support it, don't support whatever. Um, well, if that was the case, and that, then we wouldn't be make, talking about it because it'd be like, you right. know, everybody can make their own choices. No problem. Yeah. Stacey Henley, editor in chief of The Gamer. Uh, we're not covering the game at all because Harry Potter and the world it exhibits is just entirely connected to J.K. Rowling. But she has a platform uh, that she uses to push transphobia, uses it to build up what I would call a campaign against trans people, especially in Britain. So for me, it's not a case of you shouldn't enjoy the game, but supporting the game continues to give J.K. Rowling a platform which she, she can use to hurt people, uh, she later urges a boycott and says, I think moving forward, you're not being asked to give up all those childhood memories. What you're being asked to do is think of the impact of continuing to support future endeavors. I thought they just said that, you know, no one was being told to not play it and no one was being harassed. And then she turned around and said, don't play it. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like these people, they're playing innocent. I think they're actively, potentially, maybe possibly, actively involved behind the scenes. And or at least giving a, a quiet blessing, I guess, to this kind of activity. Because, yeah, it, I mean, they were like, oh, nobody's being. And I remember you know, listening to it. And you can go out and you can find it. It was uh, Evan Davis hosted it. And it was about the 51 minute mark or whatever. And, and Henley was like, yeah, nobody's being harassed. Nobody's being stalked. Nobody's being whatever. And then this shit happens. And Jake James was like, there are uh, a lot of people have the same view and are fans of the Wizarding World in general, but probably don't care for uh, J.K. Rowling, you know. And um, it was very, uh, very interesting, but they had to apologize for it. This was meant to be. This is, a, this is Evan Davis. To be honest, I think this is a fair criticism. I think perhaps we got stuck because we were actually trying hard not to debate J.K. Rowling or the substance of her views. We hadn't intended to cast it that way. Well, they always bring it back to that, don't they? This was meant to be and was about the debate raging over the game among some fans, given many feel as they do. Well, There's no way to separate that. If that's a debate, to be fair, to the they're arguing about and apologizing now. But the whole point of the 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 interview and the or the debate was to debate the gamers' stance. Right. And there's no way to debate the gamers' stance without mentioning, without mentioning rallying. Yeah. Now there's no way. 
saying definitively that her views are basically killing people, you know, that that is where, but the BBC apologized. It said this is a difficult and contentious area, which we try very hard to cover fairly and well on the BBC, except for- A lot of people are trying to cover it fairly, but you're not allowed to cover it fairly. Except for the article on the BBC about, you know, fans being awful and all that because mm -hmm. they criticized Doctor Who and Star Wars. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. However, we should have challenged the claims more directly and we apologize that we did not. No, they did our writer challenged it, so, you know, yeah. go there ahead. Go. Uh, Good job. Good job. So there we go, guys. This is going to continue. We'll continue covering it's it. Just, it's just sad because the, the victims of this are going to be, they're, they're, for them going on about victimization of people, they themselves are creating that environment by uh, their bad behavior. And the fact that, they, that you can't even say you're playing this game if you identify it a certain way um, or they're going to cancel you and these are your friends, that says a lot too. Yeah, that's absolutely insane. And this has been going on with YouTubers too. If you're a YouTuber and this is now it's the general public, if you're a YouTuber challenging the narrative of some of these websites, you are stalked uh, in certain places too, but now they're just like- No, we wouldn't know anything about that. We wouldn't know anything about that, but now they're just outright just going after anybody who dares support this game publicly. Which is gonna bite them in the ass. It's actually everything they complain about, everything that they said isn't right, they're doing. Yeah, so it's just, um, you know, it, it uh, justifies, I think, Troy Levitt and the Limited Run Games community manager now because they were Yeah, you're just, make, you're just proving everybody right. Yeah, you're just yeah. doing exactly what you say everybody was doing to you. You're just proving them correct, and then it sells more copies. You're, you're literally anti-help in this situation. Absolutely. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.